Warning, the following video contains spoilers from AMC's The Walking Dead. Hi there, they call me the governor, and last week's episode was a big old mess with some epic scenes. But none was better than Sebastian getting bit, then of course, biting it. Obviously though, Pamela will be looking for someone to blame. And Eugene wasn't exactly subtle about being up in that booth when the tape was played. Not to mention, he body slammed a biter right into the psycho little prick. <laughs> that was great. But the, what this will mean we got in the deal, Carol broke it. Well, that's unknown, but it can't be good. And how about Aaron, Jerry, and the others on their way back to Alexandria? What will they find? And I have to say, I'm very curious you got in Oceanside as well. Is there anybody still alive there? I'm not sure if all my questions will be answered in this episode, but it will certainly be a ride. This episode is called Variant and is the 19th of this final season. But enough talk, let's get this episode rolling. Time to react. <laughs> that was awesome. Ah, uh, Abraham. God damn it. Yeah, I imagine you would want to forget getting punched in the face and then seeing him die. Well, that's uh, right where we left off. They're running like hell. That is not Max. <laughs> Yeah, I think you gotta listen to Daryl. Get the fuck out of there now. People think you killed Sebastian. Oh, a beautiful sight right there. <laughs> well, he's gonna turn. I wasn't blind. Yes, you fucking were. You know that. I don't think equating his sister to your prick of a son your is really gonna do it. I need an example. You're thinking political already. So you're gonna target poor Eugene. Targets are new immigrants from yeah, the but <laughs> certainly. Riverbend? What the fuck's Riverbend? They're just gathering up everybody. Ooh, a little bit of romance in the works. There's not that many. Take him out. He's probably listening to Jerry. He's pretty smart. Yeah, I want to know. Is Oceanside okay? Was well, he listening? One of these things is not like the other? Judah Espinosa, 929 Miller Street, Sector G4. Currently unemployed. Unmarried with one daughter. Unemployed? What, did you fire her? So you don't know me, I don't know you, we're just, we're strangers now? Huh? Uh, I'm pretty sure you've met you before. Your sister. Because, uh, he was born in your sister? You're like family. Yeah, they are. I'll call you, for, you know. Look, Rosita. Oh, now you know her. Even if in this moment you bounce the knees off the That would not be the brightest of ideas, because Pamela's not exactly going to go through due process. And things only get worse. I guess there goes a the fucking deal. Never really saw Daryl as much of a church going man. Alright, Mercer's gonna be watching. Of course he is. There's our little hero of the hour. Killed Sebastian. Yeah, and you know, you could have given him a little warning ahead of time. Because it's been too long since you got your rocks off. So there's a bounty on your fucking head. <laughs> but no one's like talking about what else happened, like the tape. Well, it looks like uh, you're stuck a little bit. You know, maybe Jerry was right. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. There might be a place over there. You mean maybe camp out and wait for the herd to pass, that type of thing? Well, that's a nice little place. 
Oh, getting all cutesy. Come on, go in for the kiss. There we go. Oh, what? Denied. Maybe you should have brushed your teeth. Just saying. 2.0, yeah. That would be pretty cool. It's fucking run fair. I guess he's really not in the fucking mood. I would laugh if he uh, bit you. That would be fucking awesome. He hasn't turned yet. He's that lazy. God damn it. Disappoint each other anymore. He's disappointed not just you, but everybody. Uh oh, here it comes. Time to put a knife in his head, maybe. Or have someone else put a knife in his head. That's fine. That all works. Yeah, pretty much. Well, because you're both fucking weird. You can't change that. Yeah, but no, does no, Eugene no. really have to take uh, the fall? You'll get a trial. A fair one? Nope, not even close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, is this a breakup? No, I still no. think it's fucking awesome. It's a goddamn renaissance fair. <laughs> Perfect. Don't worry about Henry. He's in another goddamn show now. Well, yeah, because uh, that didn't happen until after the world ended in this timeline. I kept saying no for the next six months. What, the twink was not your uh, type? It was the happiest moments of my life. Nice to hear about Eric. I think we can control us when we say yes. So he's saying, you know, put out a little. Ah, oh, shit, here's a biter. Or a whisperer. Maxine on the run. Maxine on the run. Yeah, turn the fuck around. Oh, you're in uh, Shit's Creek now. Well, there goes Eugene's lady love. Better tell him. He's not gonna be happy. <laughs> wow. I like a woman who owns up to her actions. Or a person. Why? Because she revealed the truth? Ooh, there you go. Ooh. Twist it in a little hotter. Well, it's the best place for you, moron. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on, really? This would be hilarious. I don't like Daryl, but he'd kick your ass. I think you scared him, Eugene. <laughs> You're not trying to stop me. And you kind of really want to be stopped. You're not that dumb, Eugene. That fight would have been fucking awesome. I'm a coward. I'm ashamed to say it's my only discernible skill. Lion? I don't know. You got some other stuff. You made some... Gunpowder? Like it was. The four of us on the boat. Uh, does she not know you're not leaving? Princess, you know I'm not leaving. Get back started, something. <laughs> Ezekiel doesn't run from a fight. Underneath? It sucks. Yep, pretty much. Maybe they're not worth holding on to. Don't always turn out to be that way. Yeah, they just want to get in your pants. Just the best of a bad situation. Ooh, you fucking do. God damn it. What, you didn't fucking escape? You fucking moron. And now they put you in an even worse cell. Well, here's Governor Bitch. Oh, <laughs> not something you were counting on, Lance. She knows what's up. Well, too fucking bad. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is this shit? 
rubbing his face and he looks like he's fucking orgasming. What the hell's that about? Vulcan nerve pinch now? <laughs> sure, throw him under the bus. You're not giving him a handy now. Oh, there's his little coin. Well, that's a fucking good game. But if he gets it right, can you do two out of three? Well, I guess you fucking won. You even got your coin back. What? There's one person left? Holy shit! <laughs> Her, her child is a biter and she's not putting him down. I can relate. So are you gonna feed Lance to him? That'd be cool. Oh, fucking Mr. Clean bought it. Holy shit. Very cool. I like it. I guess she's moving out. Well, take in your bag. You don't want it stolen. <laughs> I don't want you to leave. That's too fucking bad. That's a very good answer. Nah. I would make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, but it's not gonna work. This place ain't work. Not even close, man. Just like. Fucking bitch. What the fuck? I piss myself sometimes. God damn it. Well, you thought it could be worse. Huh. That You tell him. It could be better, too. God damn right. And I am not. My mom. God damn right you're not. When I see a man, I see a monster. That's totally I understandable. Like that, but I know that's not you. I just want you to know. He looks fucking shell shocked. Yeah, I, I would quadruple check maybe. Oh, there you go. Locked up tight, was it? What? A bite is trying to take a fucking weapon. Come on, ain't better than that. Ah, oh, the Ninja Turtles here. And Jerry's not exactly a slouch even with a bent knee. Oh, God damn it! what the fuck? Yeah, that's a good thought. There's a fuckload of biters. Yeah, that's gotta fucking hurt. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> goddamn biters coming. And it's picking up a goddamn rock. That ain't no fucking whisperer. Holy shit. Well, at least you got a handy knife there. Well, I guess they managed to finish him off. We saw that in season one. Well, now you know they're not. God damn it. Ah, the awkwardness. There you go. No, hold up. Ooh, he's gonna grab some of that. Yeah, King Jerry, that would work. Queen of you? <laughs> I think your Jerry, queen would like that. Your, your daughter has not been in this one. What's going on there, Herschel? Nice. She's not coming. Nope. Did you find her? I did, but it was... Gerald's like, I'm not gonna deal with this bullshit a second time. But there's nothing you can do for Max now. Well... Well, you never know. There are other women. Yep. 
You did find it. Oh, God damn it. She doesn't want you to die. God damn. This is uh, quite the goodbye. I don't fucking think anyone has the style to pull that off. <laughs> he walks right in. Nobody sees him on the street ahead of time. God damn it. He walked in. Do you think he's really uh, a danger? Did you now? Protect your woman, Eugene. God damn. And that's what Mercer wanted to hear. Max does not look too happy. Her man does sacrifice himself for her. Hey, you're in a cell again. No Lance to bail you out. Yeah, Coco's not gonna wanna wear that, but. Oh, fuck. What the fuck is this? Home invasion. Shit. I do have to say Eugene is totally smitten. Turning himself in like that to save Max, that is a sign of true devotion. You know, I do have to say the manhunt for him was ridiculous. They brought in everyone he knew, but they didn't think to check the church of his friend, Father Gabriel. Unless they figured anyone in there was protected by a sanctuary, but I find that hard to believe. The police slash army of the Commonwealth really suck at their jobs. And did Rosita quit because she was leaving or get fired because she was a known acquaintance of public enemy number one? But there wasn't a whole lot of blowback from the recording. You would think some people would still be very unhappy to find out the system was rigged and that precious lottery was fixed. Did the fact that little scumbag became a biter's happy meal overshadow this? And the underground rebellion that Rosita had found evidence of before, where are they? Or are the writers too worried that if, you know, they add another faction to the ones we already have, it's gonna just be chaos? Well, I say, bring it on. It should get messy. Let's bring in the CRM to help out with their choppers and death troopers. Let's make it fun. Of course, the other reveal was the variant. A biter who could climb walls, open doors, and tries to take weapons. <laughs> and yes, Aaron initially thought it was a whisperer. He's super paranoid about him. But when you take off the face and there's nothing but skull, that's something new. Apparently the biters are evolving, or, or the virus is. But if the biters start learning to shut the fuck up and sneak around, the world's in trouble. From what I hear, Daryl will end up in Europe and encounter the foreign biters. And they'll want to kill him twice as bad because I don't get the uh, impression that Daryl, parlez-vous français? Could you imagine him speaking French? <laughs> oh God. But you know, Aaron's little road trip has been interesting. And I would like to see King Jerry take over the Ren Faire and make it something nice. Lydia seems to be having uh, guilt about Henry, but that seems resolved, so. Of course, Elijah's got a shit-eating grin on, but that last scene with Rosita being attacked and taken, that doesn't bode well. Does Lance have more operatives besides the now deceased Mr. Clean? And you know, we don't know where Cheryl DeFaco Stephanie is. It's weird that Lance wasn't trying to get out of prison, just get Pamela's attention. I guess he hadn't heard a letter writing and Pamela didn't put Sebastian down. Yes, I do understand keeping one's offsprings functioning, even if they become a biter, but I can hope that biter Sebastian ends up feasting on Lance at some point. And you know, I do feel a little bit bad for Mercer. You know, he's just trying to do his job, trying to get by, but I gotta say, Princess was so fucking right. Could be worse. There's never any type of excuse when things could be better. I mean, Woodbury was almost perfect. Okay, from my perspective. Until, of course, Rick and his asshole showed up. But anyway, enough of this. This was a fun episode, and the best part was when Eugene was ready to fight Daryl. That would have been hilarious. It's a fight we'll unfortunately probably never get to see. 
But you know, you can see stuff by checking out this video over here featuring Dan Fogler, aka Luke, who is supposed to appear in a couple episodes before the end. Also, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and a super thanks would help. Your support for this channel would really be appreciated. Until next time, Governor out.